something interesting. You can see we have a third person at the table this morning. Um, you've seen her before. Uh, she is Erica Strespeck, who is a program aide. She's involved with uh, the Cultural Center and also involved with the Seaside Marketplace, which of course is the, the new effort down there by, in Sacquatucket Harbor that has become so successful. So Erica, we invite you back and thank you for taking out your time to come and join sure. us. Well, thanks for having me this morning. We certainly have a lot going on in both locations. I see that. Right, so we'll, we'll try to breeze through it quickly. <laughs> okay. So the Seaside Marketplace is open daily from 9 to 6. We are almost filled for the season. Isn't which is going to be It's hard to believe we're in August, and then we'll be quickly heading into Labor Day. So um, I still have room for a few vendors. Uh, they're welcome to find information about how to apply online at the town website and go to the Horwich Cultural Center and you'll find a link for the marketplace. Shows you the list of vendors online. Mm -hmm. um, but this week we have two different photographers there. Oh, wow. We have, um, um, she does clay beads and, and homemade jewelry and manufactured things. So really exciting um, vendors that we've been seeing over the season. I know you were telling me beforehand <laughs> that you've been down shopping. Yes, <laughs> I have. <laughs> My daughter bought uh, two, one for herself and one for me when we were down there buying tickets for the SEAL crew. So, so you know, just go down it's and wonderful. look around. It really is. And every week there's some different it, Every people. Wednesday is when we switch over. So okay. we have um, new vendors each Wednesday. So it's always fresh and different people. Um, so it's, it's really great. And we're excited to get the feedback and looking for improvements for next season. So, Oh, um, that's so exciting that it's coming off to such a great start and it'll go through Labor Day weekend? Is Labor Day correct? weekend we're going to close and okay. then, you know, again, we have hopes that next season we'll be able to have extended hours and, and more weekends and things. So, one step at a time, but it's gone great so far. Wow. Exactly. And the, and the hours are right. So, I we're open daily uh, 9 to 6. Ah, good to know. All right. Wow, that is, it is amazing. And uh, is there anything else we should know about the Cultural Center, what's the going on there? The Cultural Center, again, is taking off with all sorts of events. So uh, to this afternoon, we have a new studio and a grand opening. Uh, Nettie Berkeley will be having a grand opening, and she invites you in from 5 to 7.30 in the Studio 203. Mm -hmm. um, so we're excited to see her come <coughs> into the center. Uh, she's kicking off. She'll have a whole new set of... Uh, um, workshops and oh, things yeah. for adult, adults that you can schedule and register for with her this evening. You can also find more information again on the town website on the community calendar. So I've been loading in all those events um, so if you miss something here today you can find that online or we'll have flyers and information at uh, both the community center and the cultural center. Wonderful. So Nettie's grand opening is going to be right before. Again we have our concert series Cranfest in the courtyard tonight. Oh boy. So tonight's uh, musical performer Zoe Mulford is a singer-songwriter of ballads, funny songs, and the 2018 Song of the Year for the International Folk Awards. So I oh, think wow. she's wow. quite acclaimed, and I think we'll have a wonderful turnout. Wow. So again, and the weather's perfect. The weather's great. We've moved yeah. those showers out, so we'll be excited to see. Um, it's great to see um, returning faces each week and then um, new faces who come. So I usually try to poll everybody as they're, they're coming into the into the concert, so really And they exciting. can buy tickets at the door, Tickets available at All the right. door. Um, and what time a, does that start? So we open gates about quarter of six. Okay. So bring a blanket, uh, bring your chairs, and it'll be out in the courtyard. And can uh, you bring a picnic? You can bring a picnic, and oh, then they good. do have beverages and soft, uh, softer drinks for sale, so. Excellent. So that's tonight. Tomorrow we have our once a month uh, free open to the public labyrinth walk up in the former library space. So that's at 10 a.m. Uh, so that's a meditation um, practice that's facilitated by uh, renters in our building, Labyrinth Quest. Oh. So that's been quite popular, been going on for several months now. Mm. Uh, it's always the second Friday of the month. So again, this Friday, 10 a.m. And then on Saturday, we have um, a really exciting, besides having open studios, which we've been doing this summer from 10 to 1, <coughs> and Flash, who is a a very accomplished uh, local artist, and she's actually a professor up at the college. Mm -hmm. uh, she'll be giving um, sort of an overview of her creative process uh, throughout these years of her career. And Anne's work is really um, quite exciting, and it's really large. So it's can... exciting to see so some man. people aren't familiar with 
artists who are working on a really large scale, so mm -hmm. her work is quite quite long and wow. really well suited to the studio spaces there at the Cultural Center. She's got quite a lot of uh, space to um, to branch out. Oh, perfect. So we've got that going on. What else do I have going on? Also, this weekend during open studio time, Captain's Row, um, the community effort in West Harwich, they have commissioned watercolors. So they have 12 really gorgeous watercolors of the, oh, wow. of oh, the wow. Captain's Row houses on exhibit in the library. So that'll be going on Fridays and Saturdays, starting this Saturday throughout the month of August, 10 to 1, if people want to pop in and see those um, See that artwork they commissioned. They're really gorgeous. They did a wonderful job. So I have to try and do that. Yeah, yeah. that is a very, very special. Okay, yeah. well, <laughs> see, there you go. Very what special. We should area. see our neighborhood. <laughs> You'll enjoy it. They're really gorgeous. Yeah. They look wonderful up in that space. And there's been one, um, especially one remodel there that is absolutely oh. spectacular. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's really exciting to see that area come alive. Yeah, it's good. Uh, yes, and uh, yeah, I really hope that continues. Absolutely. It's, it's really a wonderful thing to have. Fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers <laughs> crossed is right. <laughs> and probably, you know, finishing up here um, for, for this week and next week here as we roll into August, um, I have some props here. Uh, Stitchology Kids, again, that's been a really exciting, uh, great program that has launched this summer. Stitchology teaches sewing um, to children starting about uh, age eight. So um, she does two wow. different age groups. So new sewers and older sewers. Uh, and the kids in their spare time, they do these wonderful bookmarks. So I have brought these over today to hand out as little oh. tokens of Oh, of, thank uh, you. Well, I like this one. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. So last, next week is our last session and she does have uh, more space online that you can sign up so there's still room if you wanted your children to get involved with that so excellent and so what day of the week is that help so she runs Tuesday Wednesdays and Thursdays okay two, two groups of uh, children the younger children in the morning uh, at nine o'clock and then the second class starts about 12 30. Wow, wow. So, really oh great. great things to know about uh, and the only thing else I didn't touch upon is we have one other mixed media artist who's also kicking off uh, continuing uh, sessions of workshops. So all of those are uh, sign up and, and attend. No, um, you don't have to pre-register, but certainly pre-registering is helpful. Uh, so she's, uh, Kitty Scabelli is running those on Tuesdays and Saturdays. Again, you can find a list of the different events on our town website calendar. Um, and she does things like jelly plate, jelly plate printing. Uh, she's doing work with citrus papers. Um, just a lot of really fun things that you don't have to be overly experienced to have fun and be creative. So it's a great, wow. those are all held in our new creative suite, which is the wow. former principal's office. So, principal's <laughs> suite. So, uh, See really, how your former office can be yeah, used? So Amazing. It's tragic as maybe when you were there the last time. So, yes, absolutely. So. Who was there as a principal the last time? <laughs> <laughs> Not at that school, but at another right, school. Right, right. So citrus salt papers, what are they? I've never I, heard no, of them. Oh, you don't know no, either. I don't, I'm, I'm a watercolor painter, so yeah. I have okay. a lot of experience. Oh, Sounds wow. interesting. Yeah, I don't have experience yeah, with that, it so does. that sounds quite exciting. So yeah. stencils and masks, a lot of really fun things that I think that people will enjoy. So Excellent. Absolutely. Wow. wow. That's a lot to absorb. And can you give the website one more time so people can so go online? So you'll go to the Town of Harwich <laughs> website, harwich-ma.gov. And then you'll locate uh, the, under the departments, you'll go to the, Hult uh, the Harwich Cultural Council, Cultural Center. My goodness, so many of them in, on there. Harwich Cultural Center. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And uh, the community calendar will list all of our events. Excellent. Wow. Very good. Well, thank you so much for taking time out of your 